So for the people that thought you would never see the day, Oscar De La Hoya puts Ryan Garcia in the ring with Javante Tank Davis. Then today might be your day because Oscar De La Hoya issued a challenge to Floyd Money Mayweather by stating, and I quote, you have your fighter, Javante, and I have my fighter, King Ryan Garcia. Let's make this fight happen. If Ryan wins on the 14th, let's stage a fight. End of the quote. Now, of course, Javante responded not too long after by stating, and I quote, Let's do this. I'm going to be super rich this year. And Ryan replied right back by stating it's on course now. And of course, the train emoji, because he wants to ride the train and go straight to the smoke and face Javante. That being said, all the respect goes to Ryan because he's been very vocal about fighting Javante. A lot of people felt like he's capping. That's another term of lying. However, if we all being truthful, Ryan Garcia really wants the Javante Tang Davis fight. He sees something in Javante and he want to prove all the doubters and all the critics wrong. So be my guest. Let's see if Ryan could pass the test. Because at the end of the day, I'd rather see a fighter who rather challenge himself like Ryan Garcia is doing today that believe he the best and want to face the best such as Javante when his own fans don't believe in him or the critics or even his own promoter at one point walked out out of an interview when got asked about Javante as a future possible fight for Ryan Garcia or even now. Oscar De La Hoya said, oh, Javante, oh, he a monster and just straight walked out of the interview. So like I said, we all know how dangerous this fight is for Ryan, but I'd rather see a fighter that's willing to challenge himself and really believe in himself like Ryan is than a fighter that don't believe in himself. However, the fans believe in him more so than he believe in himself, AKA Canelo Alvarez, because he don't want to fight the best, AKA Andre and Charlo. So like I told y'all, Ryan Garcia is proving me right because I told y'all in the past that Ryan will go in the path of Oscar De La Hoya and fight the best. Regardless if he wins or lose, he gonna fight the best. And that's why I believe Ryan will be a superstar in the boxing game. Of course, Canelo on the other hand, he's maneuvering, being strategic, and the best businessman in boxing. He should work in Wall Street. I mean, as good as he is, he gonna build plenty of walls in Wall Street aka stocks but one thing for sure canelo alvarez stocks is falling and ryan garcia stocks is rising and if he could be a javante that will automatically make him a superstar and a pay-per-view star in the boxing game however that's a tall order because javante just like oscar de la hoya said he's a beast so i gotta give ryan credit for actually winning this fight because if y'all recall correctly Canelo Alvarez's first championship fight at 154 was for a vacant belt against an opponent that wasn't even a 154 pounder. He made Ricky Hatton, brother, move up in weight from 147 to face him for the vacant belt at 154. I mean, that's unheard of, right? Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia wants to face one of the best and one of the fighters that have the issue can't teach, Javante Tank Davis. So that alone should tell you everything you need to know about the mindset and the path of both Ryan and Canelo. And one thing for sure, Ryan is not picking the weakest link in his division. Matter of fact, he's heading straight to Smoke City, straight to the top, straight to the danger. On the other hand, you have another fighter heading straight away from Smoke City, and that's Canelo Alvarez. So let's see how far away Canelo could get before they could catch up to him. Because when you have lions hunting you down, 
You have to be as fast as a cheetah in order to get away. And we know who run the jungle. It ain't the cheetah who's the fastest. Matter of fact, it's the lion who has the most heart. And we already know who's the lion at middleweight. It's of course Charlo and the boogeyman Andre. And obviously you would think Ryan is part of Lions only the way he's going at Javante. And Javante is welcoming the smoke. And I must say, I'm actually surprised that Oscar De La Hoya is willing to make the fight. So he told Mayweather, let's make it happen. And I co sign Oscar, Ryan, and Javante. Floyd Mayweather, let's make it happen. This is a big fight. This is truly a fight you could make on pay per view. I know a lot of people wouldn't appreciate that comment. However, you could at least sell this fight on pay per view. So that being said, we'll see what they choose to do. Of course, Mayweather, as smart as he is, I'm pretty sure he will make this clever move since everybody is in agreement. So that being said, while you have one fighter like Canelo, who's calling witness protection on Oscar De La Hoya, only speaking through lawyers because Oscar is trying to persuade him in order to fight the best like Andrade and Charlo because one of the fighters has his strap, the other one been bullying him, telling him to grow his cojones and Canelo won't fight them. Canelo decided to call his lawyers. However, Ryan is applying pressure on Oscar, not the other way around, to make the Javante fight because he's ready. That's why he has everybody respect. And if you don't respect Ryan, then that's on you. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to like him, but you have to respect his cojones because he has bigger cojones than Canelo. So hopefully, Ryan Garcia give Canelo Alvarez the courage to actually fight these dangerous opponents. Since he feel like he's pound for pound number one, when he's not even facing the best fighters in his division aka Andre and Charlo and they have his strap and you have Canelo giving the WBC more money than he's offering Charlo to fight and that's why Charlo has his strap as we speak meanwhile Ryan want us to take Javante strap from him so all the respect to Ryan like I said you don't have to like him but you have to respect him because respect is earned not given and that's the path that Oscar went through when he turned pro after the Olympics, a lot of people doubted him. A lot of people hated him. Even his own people, they were saying that he don't fight Mexican style, this and that. Of course, he retired Chavez Sr. when Chavez was older. So for Oscar to earn a little bit of respect and to get a fair shake, he had to go through hell and back. He fought pound for pound fighters, undefeated fighters like Trinidad, like Sweet Pea. May he rest in peace. He even fought Manny Pacquiao on Floyd Mayweather toward the end of his career. That's why his career is legendary. And he earned a lot of people respect in the ring. That's what I'm talking about in particular. I could care less what he did outside of the ring. That's none of my business. And that's beside the point. The point remains, which is Ryan is going in the path of Oscar De La Hoya. And Ryan is actually living up to what he's been saying. And actions speak louder than words. Ryan stated he wanted to be as great as Manny Pacquiao. That's who he look up to. He looks up to Floyd Mayweather. The pretty boy stage and all of that. That comes with it. And Ryan is trying to live up to that. So props to him. So that being said, he has the looks to the hooks. And of course he's a model and all of the above. So you already know they're going to judge a book by its cover. However, sometimes you have to make the extra step of taking the time and opening the book and reading the book, just like the book of the truth that's offered on Split Decision every Sunday live exclusively on Aki Aki TV. Obviously, subscribe below if you want to attend the Aki University for free. If you're tired of being a casual fan and you're tired of getting fooled by these promoters giving you BS fights like maybe... Canelo cherry picking, what's so on and what's so forth. If you attend the Aki University every Sunday and on the regular, you're gonna graduate one day, hopefully, and become a hardcore. 
to attend the IQ University. It's for free. All you have to do is subscribe below. If you're trying to get smart about them, and if you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decaps, aka dumbass casual fans slash old media. Shout out to DBN for starting the new media wave. And of course, if you want to be part of the boxing brotherhood, the IQ family, the Aki Ak. Migo slash however you say it in Filipino, then all you have to do is click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live on Split Decision. And you already know, unlike Canelo, we want all the smoke. So all y'all Canelo fans, all y'all fans that have any questions, call in to Split Decision if you want to get KO'd by Aki, because it's going to feel like ball squad in the building. So like I said, at the end of the day, truth hurt however if you accept it it won't it was just make sense so yeah that feeling deep inside is actually true so appreciate every single one of my akis i don't say that enough cop the aki merch slash drip and to be continued on the next episode of aki aki Ak tv till then follow my man luna tune in the description box below and of course the one and only aki on instagram hit me up i like talking to y'all and at the end of the day peace and we out have a great day